Lift every voice and sing to earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies and liberty. Alright guys, so if you didn't know, just got through watching Netflix 13. It was really good. You know, I didn't didn't watch it for a few days because, you know, I know a lot about the 13th Amendment. I kind of already knew what they were going to kind of talk about. But I learned a lot in this video, you know, in, in this documentary, which means that, you know, you can always learn something more. You can always learn something new. And this is a pretty big topic in America today. It's a pretty big discussion. And so I just felt like it's needed. So I had to watch it. I had to just see what it was about. And, man, it was really good. Um, I think that everyone should be watching this, man. It brings so much context, you know, to things that you hear in the media, to things that, you know, you hear on, on TV and radio and music and shows. You know, it, it brings so much context. You know, the only thing that I can, can kind of compare to um, would be Crips and Bloods Made in America because that gives a lot of context. You know, um, but 13 definitely gives a lot of context as far as historically, you know, why black people are treated so bad or why black people are seen as negative or evil or criminals. You know, it gives a whole lot of context of why those laws are even made. You know, I learned a lot about the, about the different laws, you know, who's lobbying to get these laws passed. I learned about ALEC. I never heard of ALEC. Never heard of that. You know, so I, I actually learned some stuff, you know, and they talk about uh, Richard Nixon and they talk about Ronald Reagan, you know, and they talk about Bill Clinton, you know, how the drug, the, the war on drugs, you know, was about black people. You know, once we got rid of the Jim Crow, they needed something else. So now we need war on drugs, you know, and so many black people have been put in jail so many fathers have been taken from homes and would they have done something wrong sure but we don't need to be in jail for 20 30 years for life you know what i'm saying over something that's so so little for having some weed for you know having you know selling some crack or something like that you know like 20 30 years it just doesn't it just doesn't justify you know what i'm saying and if it was mostly Europeans that were going to jail like that, they wouldn't. They definitely wouldn't have no time like that. Which is why it was only for crack, because black people had crack, and the white people had coke. You know, so they already knew who the, who they were targeting. You know, so this gives a lot of context of, you know, the the racial divide and why there is such a racial divide and why there's so much tension between. You know, black people and the police, you know, and the authorities, you know, and they talk about who, you know, who was making these laws and who, who um, was implementing these laws. And uh, they talked about um, George Zimmerman, Zimmerman. They gave the uh, con contextual uh, aspect to why the whole stand your ground was even made and when it was made, you know, and who it was made for, who and who it was made by. You know, it just gave a lot of context. You know, I think that everyone should be watching this because, honestly, I'm I'm tired of watching these type of videos or these type of documentaries. You know, I'm tired of, you know, watching videos on Facebook of black people getting killed. I'm tired of having to hear all the uh, European people or, or anyone that doesn't understand why Kaepernick is doing what he's doing. I'm tired of just not being heard and not being understood so I really wish that everyone would watch this documentary just get you know what honestly watch the documentary so that you can just maybe own up to yourself who you are you know if you don't if you don't like us then just admit it and, and and if you think that you you know don't discriminate then watch the video all we want to do all we want is to be heard we want an opportunity. We want a chance. We want real justice. You know, you talk about the boy that, that was thrown in jail for three years uh, that didn't do anything. They tortured this boy. You know, he couldn't see anyone. He was uh, assaulted by inmates. He was assaulted by the uh, 
uh, prison guards. And then all of a sudden, after three years of not saying that he was guilty and not taking that plea, he just gets let go and dropped all the charges. That boy ended up killing himself. Killing himself two years later. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the mental instability that, 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 that goes along with that. You know, he didn't want to plea guilty to something that he didn't do. I wouldn't want to either. You know, but so he held on. He tried to be as strong as he could. But eventually, all that weight of being, you know, abused and, you know, victimized in jail, it got to him. You know what I'm saying? So we really need to, I, I don't know. You know, I didn't grow up hating anybody. You know, I didn't grow up like that. You know, I didn't grow up, I don't know, I didn't grow up with all this hate. Let's just say that. And so I don't, I don't understand where it even comes from. I have an idea, but I don't understand. I can't, I can't get with it. I've always wanted to love people. You know, I always just want to just be friends with whoever wants to be friends with me. You know, but ever since I was a kid, since I was a kid, growing up in the in Moreno Valley, I've been, I've been shunned. I've been called the N word. No, you can't play, nigga. Like. I'm six. I can't play. What are you talking about? We all should be playing right now. What's what's the big deal? So I go through these things. I have gone through these things. You know, I'm still alive, thankfully. I, you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be real with you, 100%. This documentary made me cry. Only documentary it's ever made me cry. And that's because they showed the video. They were asking the interviewers, should we be showing these? images of black people getting killed or black people getting beat and abused and thrown to the ground and shot you know should should we be seeing this and everyone said yeah well one person said not everything because sometimes it can be more harmful than good um but still in moderation everyone else said we definitely need to see these things you know as so it can be valued as you know shock value and the last video that they show was a black guy in the passenger seat leaned over blood everywhere and the police officer with his gun right in the window you know aiming it right at him and I, just, I don't know I couldn't I couldn't help it I just I started crying because that could be me you know he wasn't even driving it was all for a tail light. You know what I'm saying? Like, that could be me. That could be my son. That could be my brother. That could be my dad. That could be my grandfather. That could be anyone. We have villains. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, everyone needs to watch this. Um, it was, to me, it was, it was awesome. You know, going from the laws that came from right after slavery with the uh, sharecropping and then the uh, incarceration and the uh, prison labor. You know, they, they said, we want to always talk about how, you know, we want to shun uh, Malaysia and China for all these sweatshops and things like that. Um, you know, all this cheap labor that we, that we do, that we oppose on them. But then we don't want to look into our own countries and what we're doing in the prison systems with the uh the the prison labor because they're doing all that stuff for free or they or pennies you know for pennies on the hour you know what i'm saying so it's like it could bring perspective you know it can bring our our mentality our zeitgeist it could bring us closer to being i guess peaceful and bring us closer to justice you know what i'm saying you know when you do wrong okay go to jail but when anyone goes does does wrong, they should be going to jail, and that's the issue. We don't want just anyone, you know. We don't want just uh, we don't want black people to do stuff wrong and not go to jail. We want the Europeans that do stuff wrong to us to go to jail or anyone. You know what I'm saying? So we just want actual fair justice. You know, so. I hope that a lot of people can watch it. I applaud, I applaud Netflix for doing that. You know, there's, there's another um, 
documentary that I wish was on there, Hidden Colors. I wish that was on there. I'm not sure why it's not on on Netflix. Maybe they didn't make a deal with Netflix or whatever. But um, but I do appreciate to, for them having that documentary, 13th. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen it, go on Netflix. Click on, I guess, search for 13th. It's going to pop up. It's going to be a good, easy, inspirational, valuable, um, intellectual documentary for you. So, I would just say go see it. Um, there was more stuff in there, but I just have to make some type of video. Maybe it's going to inspire you to want to even watch it. Maybe you never heard of it. You know, because really we need, we need something to change. You know, they talk about laws, legislation. They talk about um, reform. They talk about, um, you know, the mass incarceration. They, they give you, like, the different, they give you the timeline. How in the 1960s there was only 170,000 people in jail. And then how it went from that to now to 2.3 million people in jail. With 40% of that being African American. You know, like, they give you all those stats and they give you all that history. You know, and I, I like history, so it, it definitely appealed to me, and I think that it would appeal to anyone, really. So, all right, that's my review. Break Room Blitz. Check us out. Our, all, the, all the other reviews that we have. Um, check. Uh, stay tuned next week. I'm going to be doing uh, the review for uh, The Accountant. Great movie. Um, so, yeah, just like, subscribe, but definitely watch it. Definitely watch the video. That's the most important thing that I wanted to say. Watch that documentary on Netflix, 13th. All right. I'm DeAnthony. I'm out. Peace.